everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. In this video, we're going to cover a couple of different exercises. The first one focuses on the rhomboids. The second one focuses on the lats or um, latissimus dorsi muscles. Um, but but I put them together because what I feel like they really share is that it's so easy to disconnect from what really initiates the work. We tend to just move the arms um, without um, and uh, a focus, okay, without an intention. And so I really want to focus here on how to incorporate it with organization from the lower half of the body, the sides, the abs. So that's what together initiates the work and connects it to the rhomboids or to the lats, okay, depending on the move. Um, for both exercises, I'm just going to keep it at um, six pound weights. And I want to show, um, as I typically do, um, the posture alignment with a foam roller and and uh, with the assist of a yoga block. So the move that we'll be doing for the rhomboids is this. Okay, it's just this action. I'll be holding weights. The um, elbows are a little lower than shoulder height, okay? But I want to show it to you from the back. Okay, so I want, I want these muscles to squeeze, but I don't want it to come up the neck, okay? So in order to do that, I have to really connect it with these muscles. And really to get these, I need to connect it to the lower half of my body. So I don't want it to just be this movement. Okay, then there, that really in, engages not much at all. Okay, so but if I incorporate everything, okay, then when I squeeze, okay, it's much more effective. If I go from the side, you'll see my abs will be engaging and participating, okay, with it all. So that's the rhomboid one. The lats, okay, this is a move here, and you could do this with cables, right, or um, there's all sorts of machines, but at home, we're going to be using dumbbells, most of, most of us, okay, so we're squeezing, again, squeezing um, elbows, it looks like you're squeezing your elbows toward each other, but if you don't incorporate it with all the other muscles, shoulders down, it will really easily, again, come up, up your neck, and then you wonder why on earth... <laughs> What would be the real point of doing that exercise? We have plenty of tension in our neck, okay? So we really want to build strength, build length, right? Excellent posture. So we want this move, okay, initiated from the lower half coming all the way up. From the side, again, you'll see my abs are engaging along with my sides. So I imagine that I've got a ball here, okay, and I, and I use that cue a lot where, the, where I'm squeezing the arm, okay, into the side to really incorporate the side. So from the back, okay, again, base the skull in line with the spine, all that, and then squeeze, squeeze. So really easy to imagine, okay, that foam roller. Okay, so you can even simulate the exercises Okay, with it. So head to tailbone, connected here, shoulder blades wrapping. So that first one, right? I don't want a flat back because then it collapses the chest, tenses, okay, everything. So I want to keep the channels open from the lower half coming all the way up. So there's this one. And then let's see if I have enough room, maybe too close to the wall here, okay? The arms are, at, it, it's they're not ex it perfectly up, okay? There is a slight angle here just so you can get the best so I'm hitting the wall. Sensation, okay, the most effective sensations at the back muscles. So I haven't even lifted any weight, but because I've simulated it all and really imagined the weight, I already feel the work, okay? So I've got that reference, the foam roller, the reference of the um, block between my thighs to keep that sense of power, okay, from the lower half all the way up, those center lines, center, the middle toes, center ankle, center knees, center hip, open hips, so I have open channels, okay, where all the muscles can, can work effectively. You could absolutely keep the um, yoga block in between your thighs, okay? So got, got the idea here. Okay, I'm just going to show it one more time, um, each exercise. So starting at that 90 degree angle, okay, I take the arms out to the sides, inhale, exhale, squeezing along the sides, lengthening that I'm already set up. And then I take my weights just to that right height here. Okay, where the, I don't want the elbows too high or that'll definitely tense neck and shoulders. Then I'm squeeze, squeeze. I'm gonna turn around. Okay, again, so you can just see. So I'm initiating it from my feet, the thighs, the glutes, the sides, the abs. Okay, from the side. Okay, and then going into, okay, this other one that has more emphasis in the, in the lats. Okay, those big back muscles along the sides. And I always do this little thing 
where I get my elbows okay, further back. It helps me to um, ground the arm bones and the shoulders and just feel more comfortable you know, with whatever's along the sides here. And then the arms, I'm trying to get them out as long as shoulders are happy, okay, neck is happy. So grounding, okay, working from the feet to the thighs, the glutes to the sides, and then squeezing, bringing it in. Okay, so from the side, maybe it'll be apparent okay, that I'm working my abs, my legs, the glutes, length in the spine, from the back muscles. Okay, so I'm really working, okay, and without, and then we bring my weights forward and release. So finding all of that strength without allowing it to climb up. Okay, so giving you the sense, you know, the more that we can strengthen with that sense of empowerment, open channels that we're strengthening and supporting, right? The more confident and open we feel outside of the exercise, outside of the off the yoga mat, okay? So I hope that these things are helpful, that you stand tall and feel good. Have a great day. Namaste.